in the last video I have demonstrated how we can get uh, some uh, slices of a mesh. A mesh uh, which is scanned has a lot of points and it's not so easy to find the right point which we can use uh, for slices to get uh, a NURBS interface with lesser points than the original mesh. And now uh, I want to demonstrate what is the way from such a cut to a spline. So uh, for test purposes we use uh, another example. What we can do is we can just generate some rando data. This uh, is a circle-like structure with uh, some random sign function on it. And we have a lot of uh, scanned points and we, with errors, with noise. Okay. And we will demonstrate the functionality on this close it and I close this. So I have prepared it with some uh, other configuration and colors. And the first thing what we do is we want to order the points. We cannot draw a line through all these points because uh, the ordering of these points is not uh, what we expect. We cannot go in this clockwise direction. So first we order the points and the first method uh, is also a filtering. We have first uh, the first filter and we see uh, this is the distance of each of these points of the point cloud to the uh, middle point of it. And we have points we which are far away and some which are very close to the middle point and we want to have a medium curve and the red line is the approximation and uh, now we see this approximation is calculated. We do the same for the minimum points. That means now the approximation only uses points which are near the middle point of the point cloud. This is the blue line. And the last one is we calculate a curve which all points which are far from the middle point. Again the blue line. And at the end, we have the results. Uh, the results are, first, I hide some of them, are three circles. The outer circle is the circle which contains all the points with minimum radius. The green one is the inner circle, and we have also an overage circle through them. If we say this point cloud describes a circle, then the blue one is the best one. But maybe this is not a circle and we think it is really not a circle. So we need uh, other data. And what we have is the approximation of the outer points. This is this curve. And we can go into and we see uh, only the outer points are used and we also have an inner approximation and a median approximation. So we now can say uh, if these are the points of a part then uh, the red one we can use for the outer hull and the blue for the inner hull. So and the next what we now do, uh, do now is we want to convert this approximation to a B spline. So we select it and we say create in the next step a simple curve. And this takes some time. Okay, and now we have the curve. The curve uh, now is a B spline, is an approximation of the red curve and I can configure how precise this yellow uh, curve will fit the red line. Um, 
if I use the approximate algorithm for B splines, I get this one. And uh, in this case, uh, this is a very complex curve. If we hide everything and we only uh, left open uh, the poles, then we see there are many poles. This is a very big um, data set and if I want to modify this curve I and, and I want to move here something out, smooth this edge, then I have to edit a lot of poles. That's not right for me. So uh, I have uh, here a simpler B-spline and the simpler B-spline has only this less number of poles. So this B-spline is smoother than the other one. And we see it here. I hide this. This is the simple spline. And this is the simple spline, uh, spline as uh, a draft B spline. And uh, when I have th this, uh, I can edit it. And now I can move uh, some of its approximation points. Okay, this is still the, the other, so has other poles. Now I have this simple draft B spline, and uh, adding um, a B spline in draft is possible, but a better and um, way is to convert it into a sketcher spline. So I select it and create the sketch spline. And now, in this moment, I have the sketcher spline and I can click into it and I have here all the possibilities to refine my curve. I can move here the control points and to see what I do, I unhide again uh, the point cloud and now I can say, okay, here, uh, this is not what I want. I want to move my curve more inside. And so I can do some corrections in the case when my algorithm did not work in the correct manner. So we now have a lot of uh, details once again. Here we have once more the point cloud. We have the outer approximation of the points. We have a simplification of this curve and at the end we have a full editable sketch or B-spline.